Good morning, good afternoon, good night everyone. Today we're going into Epcot because they released the new menu for the next food festival, which I'm excited to share. But we're gonna play a game today. Basically, if anyone finds me while I'm in there, they get a free prize. So my goal today is to be as inconspicuous as possible while trying to show you all these new updates. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm excited to see. I mean, you know, I'm gonna, it's, it's hard, I have a big camera. I, people can see me easily, I don't know, we'll find out. It might work, it might. First things first is we gotta get some merchandise. I think we can get a pin. Look at all these munchlings, they're so cute. Honestly, I wish it was a cooler day. I'd carry this munchling around. I'm a big fan of keychains and the Pixar ball is kind of just calling to me right now. This is easy enough to fit in my pocket as well. I can't tell if I'm just being overconfident thinking someone could even recognize me. Like, it happens. Like, today might be the day where no one knows who I am, especially when I'm Captain America mode, sunglasses on, hat on. We'll see though. I'm like hiding in the corner to make sure no one sees me. It's 3.10 right now. If it hits 4.10 and no one finds me, I'll double the prize and buy something else. Gosh, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> I saw a family waving in my direction, but it was people behind me. So we're good so far. Guardians of the Galaxy Skyliner Premium Bucket. I didn't even know they had this. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest times to visit Epcot, strictly because there's no festival happening right now. So there's like a lull, not as many people come. There's not as much to do. Of course, other than just the regular ride, and the food that they always have to offer but a lot of people can get through this park pretty quick when <laughs> there's no festival speaking of festivals though food and wine festival begins July 27th and the first thing you need to know is they actually released their popcorn bucket um, ahead of schedule and that was by mistake so they were on shelves but they recalled them as quick as possible they were cute. It was like a little picnic basket with the Mickey hand holding it. Normally there's a big something here to welcome you to the World Showcase, but no festival means just random patch of grass. <laughs> I've never realized that this is where the Disney 100 sign is. This is cool. Again, this is in the area that they use for advertising their festivals, but this is a good uh, substitute. Now the popcorn bucket was a mistake, but they just released all of the info when it comes to the food menus and everything you can expect when it comes to booths. And I'm gonna cover them all today. We can't eat them, but we could talk about them. They're also adding four new booths, so that's fun. Starting with Shimmering Sips, this is a fan favorite. Now their new menu has the return of the Blood Orange Mimosa from 2022. The full menu includes guava cake, strawberry cheesecake, berry mimosa, tropical mimosa, the Blood Orange Mimosa, and you can get a mimosa flight. They also have beer mimosa and a corksicle stemless flute. Basically just a place to have a lot of bubbly. Australia is returning with the same exact menu, grilled sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp, roasted lamb chop, and the yellow cake. I heard the yellow cake was really good. Yeah. And then you get a bunch of drinks, just including uh, the things the I can't food. pronounce. <laughs> Next up, Canada. They will have the Canadian cheddar and bacon soup, which is a fan favorite, very popular. I've had it many times. It's so good. Even when it's a hot day, that's how good it is. A go-to tip for me is if you ever don't care about the festivals and just want to go strictly for Epcot, try to plan your vacations between festivals. Because I mean, like, Look how less crowded it is. It's just, just a noticeable difference. It's cool to know that even if there isn't a festival, they still will have live entertainment throughout the day. Please welcome to the stage, Blueberry Grass Band. <laughs> Blueberry Grass. Wait, what the heck? It's Dr. Facilier! He's literally one of my favorite villains. And I've never been able to meet him before. What? What is, what is this? I wanted to meet him at a Oogie Boogie Bash, but he had too long of a line, and here he is with no line. How's Dr. Facilier! Good to see you! Oh, it's good seeing you as well. Oh my gosh. You know, I have friends on the other side too. Not many. Uh, well, not here. So not to, I didn't I didn't know you were gonna be here. I would have brought them if I knew you were gonna be here. We have the same friends now. We might. Now name one of them. <laughs> um Philip. No, we don't. Nah, now do your friends go down to the bayou so uh, yes. I, well, at least I want to go to the bayou. want to go to the bayou. Yes. Have you been? Of course I've been to the bayou. My friends been there. I don't spend too much time. I try yeah. to stay far away from Mama Odie as That's possible. fair. That's fair. That's fair. So I, I sent my friends down there to go spy on Mama Odie trying to find the next recipe. Now, gotcha. did you know she cooks her gumbo in a bathtub? No. I, like, I liked her gumbo. 
She put a foot in it too. No! Okay, okay. Do you have yeah, any? That's what Lewis is telling me. Listen, what about Tiana's gumbo? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I can definitely say she needs a little bit more Tabasco sauce, <laughs> and then she probably needs a little bit more seasoning. Mm. And then I definitely can say she probably needs everything. <laughs> More you know what I put in my gumbo? Worcestershire in? sauce. It's like a little, it's like a... That sounds good. Uh, Jojo. Well, it was nice to meet you, Jojo. Nice to meet you too. It's yeah. so exciting. I see you from the distance. You're a popular guy, so I'm glad that... I'm always popular. <laughs> now, you probably see me in the papers too. Yeah, yeah, I see you there all the time. Now, Jojo, can we get a portrait together? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, man. And I hope to see you around soon, okay? Yeah, I will. Have a great time. You too. Now, let's see how we come place. I love that. What a random fun little meet and greets. I had a challenge going today and I figured by me stopping to see Dr. Facilier it might have jeopardized that and it did. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. So the first person to see me today gets a little present. I just bought it. I'm you can fine. open it. Yeah. Open, open it. it. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. Just a little something something. Oh sweet. Yeah. You know I like the Pixar ball. So a little that's yours now. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was supposed to stop the video when someone found me, but the video is not long enough, so we're going to keep it going. <laughs> nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you, too. More friends. What's your name? Ida. Nice to meet you. Are you having a good day so far? And it's your birthday. Happy birthday, John. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, have fun today. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but I was actually very nervous to meet Dr. Facilier just because oh, I've man. never met him before. That was really awesome. What a, a random thing. That does happen actually pretty often here at Epcot. You'll randomly just find characters who are just taking a stroll. Sometimes you might see even like Jack Skellington, just rare characters randomly. I don't want to end the video yet. I'm actually having a lot of fun. So why don't we just buy something else and at least try to make it around the world showcase. I think that's fair. Ireland's menu is basically unchanged. You got the fisherman seafood pie, roasted Irish sausage with potatoes, warm chocolate pudding cake and drinks is Irish cream ale, mead honey wine and guinness bailey's coffee shake i don't think i've actually ever had any drinks from here we'll have to try all of this by the way if you don't already you should follow me on instagram because i do post daily updates of what i'm doing where i'm at so if anyone's in epcot today now they know i'm here which i'm just making this challenge harder for me but i had to show off that i met the facilier depending on the location i'm found i have to buy an item from that area we were close to England, so I'll buy something from one of the gift shops here. I'm trying to find something in the store that fits in my pocket that's more Disney-like, but just a lot of hats and tees, you know? Uh, I mean, maybe those ears, but again, I want it to be small. Found this perfect pin of mini in front of the tower. I kid you not, this is how I'm walking. With my <laughs> Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? You're doing awesome. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. What's up? How are we doing? Hi, friends. Very well. You're doing four parks in one day? Four parks in one day. It's our first AP day. That's great. Wait, what's your guys' names? We're the stars from Oklahoma. Awesome. And it's your birthday. It's my birthday as well. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I was doing this little uh, challenge today. Well, for myself, basically, like, how far can I get through a theme park without someone Noticing me and you guys. Sorry. No, it's, I mean, it's great for you guys because you guys, you guys get a prize. Oh, no. What? Yeah, and it, it works because it's your birthday, but I gotta uh -oh. find it. I put it in my pocket somewhere. They didn't have enough bags, so I just shoved a little. But you'll see, it's coming somewhere. It's in here. I just bought it too, like from that gift store over there, but now it's part of this journey. Let's see. No, you can hold my keys for oh, a second. Hold on. Keys. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want my keys. Oh, no, where's your car at? No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, you don't want my car. No, I don't know. Here you go. Here's a pin for the family. It's a little Mickey, yeah. It's all yours. Thank you. Yeah, well, here, yeah, you got it. There you go. Perfect. Well. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, no, of course. So how long did you make it? Um, well, I made it up to there, and then someone saw me, and then I bought that. I'm like, okay, here we go. And then you guys showed up. It's funny, though. I like it. I like this. It's fun. I get to see people. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, you are well loved. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Have fun. Happy birthday. You too. Oh, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so before that happened, I originally was gonna say I'm walking like this, hat down, head down, but I, I didn't, uh, that didn't work too well, or at least I didn't get a chance. So now we have to stop in France and get something. I think people would riot if they took away the France booth. Uh, they have the number of popular dishes like the beignet, trois fromage, and the strawberry rose mimosa. And they have some new stuff. And honestly, I would butcher half of this. So you can see on the screen right now, the full menu. The one sad thing about this last event being over, Flower and Garden, 
is that we will be losing our topiary friends here. So far, this challenge has costed me about $30. Now we're in the France store. It's mini again, but this time with the Eiffel Tower. Okay, this store actually had mini bags, which will make it easier for me to give it out. I didn't even mean to make this a challenge, but I somehow put myself in this position where I need to keep moving, but also stop for all the booths because I want to inform you guys on all the new food and existing food. Guys, I'm literally hiding in a corner right now. <laughs> Next up is Belgium. The food offerings are the same. We got the beer braised beef, Belgian waffle with warm chocolate ganache, Belgian waffle with berry compote and whipped cream. As far as beverages, you got the Brasier de Hoffen Huben IPA, <laughs> IPA, Chimmy Grande Reserve, Chilled Mocha Cafe, Red Fruit Belgian Ale, Chilled Coffee, and Beer Flight. Honestly, I'm getting excited. I'm getting myself hungry. No, seriously, they'll look at me right now. I've never been so secluded from Disney parks before. Now, there is a booth behind me, and I actually need to figure out which one of this real quick. Saw the doors are open, can never pass up a chance to say hi to my favorite princess. Good to see you. Hey, um, so I need your help. I know you're good with sneaking around the palace. I'm trying to sneak around and avoid my friends. Like, not for, we're just playing a game, you know? Kind of like hide in the boo kind of deal. Fly and seek. Yes, fly and seek. Wonderful. Do you have any tips for me? Because I'm, I'm really bad at it. Flying seat. Well, yeah. I'm not the best at flying seat, but yeah. my friend Abu, he is very good at flying seat. That's fair. He's so small that he can hide in the smallest of places. Yeah. He's actually playing right now, so mm. we haven't seen him, have you? No, I haven't seen him. He's actually good at the game, so. Yes. Well, I would say the best tip that I have for you is that the thing that gives Abu away is he kind of has that monkey smell. Ah. Oh. So I say don't have a monkey smell, it'll make it a lot, it'll make it a lot easier for people not to find you. Got you. So stay cool. Of course. <laughs> Wonderful. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jasmine. I appreciate it. Would you like with me? Let's do it. Wonderful. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> hey, say hi to Aladdin for me. Of course, I will. Lovely. You're Bye. Watching. I was really hoping Jasmine was going to give me some like sound advice about how to stay sneaky, and she basically told me to don't be smelly. And trust me, I'm not. I, I hope I'm not. I mean, you know. <laughs> I put on deodorant and I showered and everything because I knew it was going to be a hot day. I even put sunscreen on. Gosh. Okay, we got to keep moving. It's been over an hour. <laughs> And we're not even halfway through and we're $30 down. Okay, I'm definitely going crazy because I think the grease stand should be right here. They are returning with a few new plant-based impossible items. You got the plant-based impossible mozaka, uh, don't know what that is, spano kipita, grilled cheese. The grilled cheese is delicious, the lamb gyro. So definitely gonna have to try that new food item. It's always fun. And you got rose, dry red, wine flights, white wine. Yeah, I, I swear it's right here though. I'll keep my eye out. Maybe it's somewhere else this year. Japan is a booth you definitely cannot miss out on this year because they have a lot of new food items. I mean, they are keeping the teriyaki chicken bun, which I love. But on top of that, you got a fire taco roll, sushi roll, spicy tuna. I literally order spicy tuna all the time, so definitely gonna have to have that. Like, yum. And then you get a beef wagyu don. Traditional Japanese rice bowl of American Wagyu beef over steamed white rice. I have a feeling that Japan might be one of the top three booths for this upcoming festival. You got the sake passion cocktail, the moon on the water sake, and Bruja Momo Amber Ale. Wow, all right. I'm coming here first. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I will be here on day one trying all these foods that I'm talking about. I'm getting really hungry. Honestly, the food items that they have regularly here in Japan are delicious. I can get the udon or the ramen, but that just risks me getting caught. I'm trying to do this at a timely manner. Gosh darn it, you don't count. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm trying to not get seen by people. It's a challenge. Every time I get caught, I have to give a present. Oh! Yeah, but you're my friend. You don't okay. count. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is the only stipulation. How are you doing? Why are you, what are you doing here? My best friend's here. Oh. Hey, yo! How are you guys doing? <laughs> Out of all the topiaries, I will definitely miss Tiana's. She's so pretty. I love it. At nighttime, it would glow. Obviously, by the end of the festival, this is actual nature and greenery, so it starts to get overgrown, but I kind of like it in a way. Next up is Flavors of America, and they do have new items. We have the Italian hot beef sandwich with shaved beef, spicy something, and aju on a French roll. We have a seafood stew. I love when they bring seafood into this. Uh, infused with tomato fennel broth and a sourdough Croissantini, okay. <laughs> then we have corn tortilla chips tossed in salsa. Basically chips and dip 
with a soft poached egg. That sounds yummy. And then freshly baked carrot cake with cream cheese. That is the only thing that is returning from last year. If you guys actively watched my vlog, we were just here for July 4th and it was so busy and chaotic and now there's basically no one. It is such a funny time between festivals. This is gonna be like this for the rest of the month. So if you're in town and you wanna get a little empty year Epcot, especially during the summer, I can't say it enough, come now. If y'all are enjoying this video idea, let me know. Cause I'm thinking next time, if we do this again, every time someone finds us, we can keep upping the value of the gift. With Dan and Kyle moving out of the apartment, that means we will have some space in the walls to add our own art. Maybe I should come back here and like do a design my apartment vlog or something. There's a lot of different pictures here that I enjoy. Enough dilly dallying though. We got some AC back out into the wild. I gotta put my shades back on. Incognito mode activated. No one can see me. I'm like a chameleon or Randall. Is that his name from Monsters Inc? That's who I feel like right now. Slippery, slimy. Well, not slimy. Hopefully not. I'm a little sweaty though. I am so jealous of this duck. Yeah, I'm actually kind of upset because there's literally nobody here. This is the perfect day to just grab drinks. I'm coming back here soon with Krista or Dan, maybe Kyle. Fun fact, when you come here during a festival, keep your eyes open on this little town because they actually add the banners that represent the festival on the flagpoles in this little town. Because there's no festival going on right now, there's no banners. Hi, how are you Snow White? Lovely to see you too. Would you like to join me by the Awesome. Show? That'd be awesome. So, so yeah, you know, I have a wish today. It's nothing crazy. It just, I'm really bad at playing hide and go seek. Oh, do, you, do you ever play that game with the dwarves or anything? Oh, my, yes, you know, Dopey does love to play ah, games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have any tips? I'm, uh, people keep finding me. I don't. Oh, perhaps behind the wishing well. Oh, good spot. That's a good, okay. I'll keep that in mind next or time. Or perhaps the wildflowers too. You know, my bird friends love to hide in the wildflowers <laughs> sometimes. That's fair. But I always hear them singing. Yeah, that's what gives it away. Well, thanks for the tips. I appreciate it. Well, do you want to take a portrait real oh, quick? Of course. Let's Would you do like it. To stand together? Yeah, let's do it. Look at that. It's like a magic mirror almost, oh, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not the fairest of them all, but it's okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's okay. Well, thank you, Snow White. You have a good day. It's so lovely to see good you. Good to see you, too. I hope all your wishes come true, all right? I hope so, too. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh -huh. Wow, um, my wish is for you guys to like this video. We got Caesar, Caesar, and... Leo. Say your uh, name, say uh, your name. Leo. <laughs> you, you guys thought it was Caesar, didn't you? Now guys, I'm actually doing a challenge today. I'm trying to not be seen. I'm trying to be like secret. And if some nice people find me, they get a prize. So you guys get a prize. No way. Yeah, yeah, just it's, it's something small. You go ahead, open it. Maybe you can give it to your wife or your girlfriend or your sister. It's a nice little, uh, it's a cutie little penny. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I got found, I was in Paris, so I got that in Paris. Now we're in here, so I'm gonna buy something here. But awesome. nice to meet you guys. Thank yeah. you. I'm learning real quick that characters are an easy giveaway. I don't know, maybe just because it's Snow White, then you see a camera, then you see me. I could have hid behind the well, but it was too late by then. So now we're in Germany. We gotta get something for someone. Well, hopefully no one else. I mean, I love meeting everyone, but you know, I'm yeah. in a challenge. I promise you, if this video gets a million views, I will come back and buy this 149 Peter Pan and give it to the next person that finds me. It's a little Mickey pretzel ornament. And this is 20 bucks, the pins are 10. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So every time I think of a new rule that you guys need to hold me accountable for, I keep it. But this one's more of just like to make it a little bit more fair on my end. I was actually waiting in line to buy this and I had a really cool friend come up and say hi to me. Um, I, that doesn't count. I have to have purchased the item because can you imagine if I just got caught in line and I just kept getting in line and like, I, I'd basically just spend over $2,000 and <laughs> 10 minutes, sometimes, I'm not, I'm, it's, a, it's a hypothetical. Next up is Germany. They didn't change anything here. You got the schnickel hidden pasta gratin of ham, onions, and cheese, bratwurst on a pretzel roll of mustard, apple strudel with vanilla sauce, yum. I know a lot of people come here just for this place. And then you got a ton of different alcohol. We do have one new alcohol offering, the Dr. Low Alcohol Removed Riesling from Mosley or Mossel. Next we have the Alps. I've actually never eaten here but they do have some yummy food, some new food as well. We have the dark chocolate fondue with berries, pound cake, and marigues. It's a plant-based item. I actually made a big miscalculation and I forgot one food booth all the way back here. So, not to retrace my steps, I'm scared. Oh God, 
Also, I think it's starting to rain. The weather was too good to be true. Spain, uh, the food is basically the same charcuterie board though, which I didn't even know they had that last year and I got so excited I gotta try that. A bunch of new drinks. You have Vina, white sangria, rose sangria, a garnacha red sangria, basically a bunch of new uh, sangria. As I was heading to my next booth, we got new friends. What's your names, guys? Uh, Allison, yeah. Lexi, Aaliyah, Adriana, Dere. Now, I'm doing this challenge today where I'm trying to get through Epcot as quick as possible, but if I run into friends, I have to give them a gift. So you guys found me. Oh. So here, what? here's a gift. Oh I just got yeah, yeah. Open it, it's a little present, it's open it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's nothing crazy, it's a little something. It's wrapped up, wow, they really wrapped it up, wow. It's like Christmas, it, it, you know, yeah, keep keep it's going. Adorable. I did the, yeah. oh my God. It's a pretzel from Germany. Yeah. 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 You guys share it. It reminds you of this day. So yeah. It can be like our sisterhood of the challenge. There you go. I like that. I like that. Awesome. Yeah. Of course. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Italy. Last year they did have the panna cotta that was taken away and instead replaced with some new food items. We have freshly baked focaccia, beef, meatballs, tomato sauce, and burrata cheese. Cavatelli with sweet sausage, ragot, and crispy applewood smoked bacon. Okay. Lemon ricotta cheesecake with vanilla cream and strawberry compote. Unfortunately, but fortunately, we were spotted again. That group was so wholesome. That made me really happy. That's why I like doing this challenge. I don't necessarily mind spending the money because I get to meet you guys and I get to kind of give back in a weird sense. So that's really, really cool. But now we're literally going backwards because I have to buy something in Italy, get through Germany. Dude, I'm finding all the cute merchandise today. This is so random and that's why I'm gonna get it because I would normally never get this for myself. A little Mickey lemon, limoncello. I'm actually starting to lose count at how much money we've spent. I think we're a little bit over 50 now. I, I literally didn't think we were gonna get to this point. Oh, well, this is cool. Kenya is back for its 30th with the same food as last time, which I didn't actually get to try, but it sounds good. Coffee barbecued beef tenderloin with sweet potato corn, and then you got skewered shrimp with citrus flavored concos. Okay. And you can get a pilsner here as well. I actually like how I'm doing this early because now I'll be prepared the day the festival starts to get the food I exactly want. Because as of right now, I've just made myself very, very hungry. Next up is India, which is one of my favorite booths. Uh, I was very sad because last year they took out the little warm bread sampler. And this year, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're bringing it back. But they do have curry spice, crispy cheese, and mango curry. And I feel like that's something I would definitely like to eat, but I don't remember trying it. Potato and pea samosa, chicken tiki masala, I think that's what I had last time. Hello China, the new food item is the crispy duck bao bun uh, with poison sauce. First time I had the bao bun was at Halloween Horror Nights and I fell in love with them so I hope this lives up to the hype. Passion fruit bubble tea definitely was a favorite because it does come in a non-alcoholic uh, version which is great. It's actually crazy how much uh, non-alcoholic offerings they have and that's good, we love that. You know it's a slow day when on and else's meet and greet is only a 15 minute wait. We love that. Mexico, literally their whole menu changed. You got tostada de carnitas, braised pork on a fried corn tortilla with black beans, avocado mousse, queso fresco, and chives. I think I actually said all that right. Taco de Castilla, slow braised beef short rib on a corn tortilla. And then finally you got the pastel impossible layers of traditional Mexican flan and tres leches with guave and cajete. Beverages, they have some new ones. Trouble in Paradise Margarita, flyaway margarita. Both of those sound really fun. And you got the Mexican craft beer, which I always enjoy getting. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, hi guys, what's up? How are we doing? Do you mind being on the vlog? Is that okay? Hi, what's your name? Chris. Nice to meet you. Well, hey guys, I'm doing a thing today where if I get seen, I get you guys get a prize. So you're gonna get a prize right now. Fantastic. Yeah, here we go. Right, Jojo. There you go. Open it up right here. Right here. Yeah, it's yours. It's a little. It's a little something. Yeah, yeah. So someone saw me in. It's, yeah, someone saw me in Italy, so I got an Italy pin, and now here we are. And now I've been seen in Mexico, so I got to get something in Mexico. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jojo. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I love right, your shirt. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Have a, great Have a good day. day. See, I struggled with the menu long enough 
to be spotted. It's when I'm stationary, that's when things get dicey. And now I gotta go into the Mexican pavilion, unless there's a booth out here. Hello, hi, <laughs> have, a, hi. have a good day. Um, yeah, there's no Mexican booth available right now. Or I can, mm, we're kind of on transit. We're between here and here. And honestly, I never buy anything in there. I barely ever go in there. So we're gonna go into the World Trader shop. Into Disney Traders we go. Honestly, a little AC never hurt nobody. There's a lot of fun stuff in here, you know, like Marvel and What If and like freaking the Chalas or Shuri's Gauntlet. I didn't even know they sold that. That's kind of flamed. What? These keychains are so cute. The letters represent different characters. So uh, G for Genie, H for Hook. And let's see, where is J? <laughs> J for Jiminy. Sometimes I feel like someone's a little talking grasshopper, you know, they're conscious. And sometimes I feel like I need one. I am very upset about this, but unfortunately my two favorite booths do not come out the day the festival begins. We have the Hawaii booth that comes out August 15th and hold on, the Noodle Exchange, which is also August 15th. Now the thing about the Hawaii stand is their pork sliders are absolutely amazing. The menu is not changing, even the spam is good. You know, at the end of the day, they have the ramen and then they have the impossible pork udon. Both of those are really good, I've had both of them, but they don't come out right away. And like, those are the first two things I wanna eat, so. Also, I don't know where some of these booths are gonna be. I can only assume because obviously some are not done being completely built. So if you guys find out where they are, let me know down below. Yeah, let's keep moving because we got more booths. I'm not gonna lie. It took me like 10 tries to actually film that. I definitely feel like I caught someone's eye during that. So we're just gonna keep on moving right now and maybe we'll be okay. Flavors from fire. I haven't had much from here and they are changing the menu. So maybe I'll come back. They have a chimichurri marinade skirt steak taco with crushed avocado, grilled corn salsa, pickled red onions, queso franco and cilantro lime cream. That does sound very appetizing. I mean, yo, you hit me with anything with steak or taco, I'm good. More friends. What's your names, guys? I'm Kelly. Corey. Jack. Brooke. Zach. All right, so I'm doing this thing today where if someone finds me in the park, they get a present. So you guys found me, so you get a present. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Now they ran out of baggies at the last place I was at, but you get a little, you get a little uh, J pin. It has Jiminy on it. So yeah, this, this is just a little, you know, a little memory for the vlog. Thank you for saying hi. I appreciate it. Where are you guys headed next? I think we're going to Caballeros. Oh, how? <laughs> Makes sense. It adds up. That very sweet family just told me that they left their 20 year old at home and she follows me on Instagram apparently. And she saw that story I posted of Dr. Facilier. So they were looking for me. So, you know, sometimes it pays to uh, follow me. <laughs> Obviously, that's more of a joke, but I do find it really funny. And I love hearing the behind the scenes of other people's stories and, you know, just how their day is going because it kind of reinvigorates me. Anyway. We got caught again. I think we're up to seventy dollars now. I really, I really thought we weren't gonna go over thirty. We'll get something from the creation shop, and honestly, I'm sweating. I don't know if it's because I'm getting hungry or I've been walking in the heat. I guess Abu's not the best hider. We found him. This is actually adorable. I've never seen like a baby Abu. So many friends. What's your name? Noemi. Natasha. Nestor. I like your shirts. Disney Family Vacation 2023. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Good. Well, keep having fun. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Wait, this is absolutely adorable. Not only do you get a little plushy stitch, but you get like a little guitar with him. How cute. We are so close to covering all the booths. Next, we have the fry basket. And honestly, pickle fries with dill ranch. That sounds absolutely mouthwatering. This might be the first thing I get. Everything else is the same. You got the yucca fries, the sea salt with malt vinegar, the barbecued bacon fries, and the sweet potato fries. All of these were yummy. I definitely recommend that you would get the flight, but I think they took out the flight because now they have four different fries, which actually makes sense because then it kind of forces you to spend more money. And then we have a new drink, the Stone Brewing Salt and Lime Lager, and then the Salty Dog Cocktail that was there last year. So, gosh darn. It might not look like much now, but this is brewing at the Odyssey. I know I've said this a couple times, but this is actually what I'm most excited for. The wings here last year were 
absolutely delicious. And they are adding some new ones. They got the orange cardamom wings, traditional buffalo wings with celery and ranch, buffalo chicken tenders with plant-based cheese, plant-based ranch and celery. So it's a plant-based item, uh, a vegan option one would say, which is dope. Scorching hot scotch bonnet pepper curry wings that I need to eat. And then you got the peanut butter and jelly sticky wings, which were really good. Garlic Parmesan wings and the crispy Brussels sprouts. This is a solid drink spot. You get a lot of local beers here. Sun King Brewery Lager Brew Hub French Con Connection IPA. Three Daughters Brewing Old Fashioned Porter. Oh my gosh, hard cider. Peach Berry hard cider. Raspberry lemonade hard cider. And then they got the, some frozen uh, non-alcoholic drinks, but all the ciders are new, all the beers are new. This place is popping. I always enjoy it. I think I figured it out. That one booth we saw all the way by France, I believe that was Brazil. Uh, they have black beans with pork belly and then Brazilian cheese bread. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Nothing is changing there. The Brazilian cheese bread was pretty good, but also kind of bland. I don't really plan on getting that again this year. But with all of that being said, we have completed every single food booth in Epcot before Food & Wine begins in a couple of weeks. That is all you need to know about all the food. This is a foodie guide, and I feel like I've never done one before. I never do them because I can never eat all the food, but I can talk about all the food, and now, I helped myself out, because I'm gonna eat all that. As far as uh, my little challenge, no one got the stitch. I'm gonna still keep to it though, and try to make my way out the entrance. But as of right now, I think we spend around 60 to $70, you can see on the screen after I tallied it up in post. Goodbye Epcot, what a day. And with that, we are coming to the end of our challenge. Have a good day, and we are officially out of the park, which means Stitch gets to come home with me today. But if this uh, video does well, and if you guys like this kind of idea, he will start the next time we do this in a different park. I think this was really fun. I mean, I got to create some magic, and you know me, I'm always trying different ways to not only make magic for guests, but create fun, entertaining videos for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you head like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.